Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with another uh, SUV builder video, I guess, for Small Engine Velocity. Uh, it's been it's been a long and uh, fun journey building things, and there'll be a reason why later on that I'll show you why I'm wearing this this glove. But uh, mistakes were made today when I was creating something. It's been in the works for a while, so this part has already been designed and we've already been trying to make it. Well, before we do that, small board channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so now that that's over with, now, so I got an idea in my head uh, from Kesh. He has something that I kind of thought was pretty cool and I wanted to try to see if I could buy one. Uh, then I found out that it was on WeBike in Japan and it would take forever to get to me. So I decided to just, hey, you know, why don't I just make something? Make it a little bit different than what people are normally used to. So I got to my uh, Fusion 360, started drawing something up and here it is, a little shape that I had created. Uh, a simple bracket that requires a couple of bends and only has a few holes inside of it. Once I was done doing that, then I imported it into uh, my G-code generator for a DXF file to turn it into something that right here that the plasma cutter could cut. And I made two of them and uh, you can see I cut it out over here. And here is the finished product after the cut. Uh, I made this out of stainless. I don't know why I made it out of stainless, but it's uh, lighter. It was, I had some available, so I went ahead and gave it a shot. Uh, after I cut it out, I went ahead and uh, did a little bit of sanding on it with the uh, Orbital, the little air tool one, uh, and then cleaned out the holes a little bit. Now, keep in mind, this hole right down here is, is too small for what I want it to do. So keep that in mind and think about this glove when you're uh, looking at this piece. So I guess the best thing to do right now is go ahead and show you what I've created. So. Here we go. All right, I forgot to tell you one thing. The uh, the part that I used, I bought on Amazon. It was made for something else. And I went ahead and uh, repurposed it for what I needed to do. I uh, kind of scoured the internet for about an hour and then Amazon for this piece to see if it had a proper bracket that I wanted to kind of the way I wanted to make it. And I found it, ordered it two days later, got it in the mail, and here it is. All right, let's take a look. Da, 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 da. I put a windshield on the ruckus right here. It is pivoting, so there's a locking mechanism here where you can loosen it and you can tilt it down. If you wanna give it more of a profile or up, it is connected to the stem so that it turns with the handlebars. It's not permanently mounted at the front right here like, like other kits have it up here. Um, and here is the bracket. I went ahead and folded it and pushed it through, uh, folded it both sides at about uh, 90 degrees on both sides, put it through the top. The kit that this came with, it already had this uh, um, latching mechanism so you can loosen it and then lock it back down onto the bracket. And for slow cruising, you can flip it up really, really high like this, actually there, like this, if you wanted to, or you could, I haven't tightened it all the way, or you could tighten it down for like ninja mode, or if you want it kind of covering <laughs> your, your gear, <laughs> there you go. So from the front, it's hard to tell because I mean, it's, it's clear. Um, but I like it. It looks interesting. So let's get to why my hand is in a glove. So the rear hole wasn't big enough. So I decided to drill it out and there's some blood right there. So I was holding the bracket in my hand like this and drilling towards myself. So note to self when you're drilling and you want to hold it, which you probably shouldn't, don't drill into the palm of your hand. Okay, and if you look carefully, there is some of the remnants of my mistake. I, I wiped some of it off and then there's some 
on the there's some on the glass the one should you can't focus on it because it's glass but yeah there you go this is my new windshield now i'm gonna take that piece down there i may leave it like this uh stained stainless uh i gotta ride around with it to see how well it'll hold up but i mean it looks like it's gonna be really good so far and then i was thinking about if i do change this then i probably take this piece off and make it stainless also uh make it a uh, what's it called uh orange also i did make a second bracket and i know to drill the hole first before i bend it but uh i made two just in case i messed up one uh, so i guess i have a spare laying around now if i want uh, this is a one-off i was just trying to see if i can make a windshield for this so there you go so there you go i hope you guys enjoy uh if you got any comments as to what i did if i could improve it if there's anything better that i could do or if you have any questions as to what i use please let me know uh this isn't something that i feel like i'm going to turn into a part <laughs> Uh, because I can't uh, buy these head th these uh, windshield thingies pretty often. I mean, it wasn't like it was expensive. I think it was like $25. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to, when you're drilling, don't drill towards your hand and use a vice grip or something to hold the piece down so it doesn't catch. And then the sheet metal stainless piece starts spinning as fast as the drill, slashing your hand into a million pieces and then getting your angry wife get your wife super angry at you because you uh, didn't wear gloves, one, and you were stupid to drill towards your hand. I'm just glad that the drill didn't like come out and come into the palm of my hand or else I wouldn't be making this video anymore. Anyways, I really wanna, really, really wanna get some input in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see everybody in the next video.